Okay, the next one, and this is the most important thing when you're studying, but I find I find the other one the most important thing when I'm writing, the, the third one that I'm going to go over. This is the second one. And uh, the second one is the misunderstood word or symbol. Let me go write it. discretion. I'm just telling you successful actions on my part. Don't feel like you have to use any of this. But if it helps you um, with your writer's block and it helps you to get your story moving along, then please feel free to use it ad infinitum. Okay, it's a misunderstood word or symbol. And study this is the most important thing. Mis misunderstood word or symbol can cause a person or a student to actually give up a subject. Um, it can cause a, a sort of nervous hysteria where they can't, they can't get it. They don't understand it. Has anyone ever uh, read something and get to the end of the paragraph and go, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Why did I just read, huh? <laughs> okay, there is, there is a misunderstood word in what you just read. Um, sometimes it takes a, a bit of work to find it. <laughs> I have not the greatest vocabulary. I'm sure that there's lots of people out here that have a bigger one than I do, but my vocabulary is fairly big. And so there's a lot of words that I know, but I don't know every single definition because many words have definitions that are not alike. And some are not alike enough to make a really big difference. You know, like, I'll just give you a real simple example. He rode a boat. Okay, R-O-W-E-D, road. Okay, but a student doesn't know the definition of road. He's just hearing he rode a bike. And he's never been on a bike. He's never had oars in his hand. And he's thinking he rode like a horse in a boat. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try to picture this. <laughs> that's, a, that's kind of an outrageous example, but an actual true one. <laughs> Um, I have just gotten back from Florida. I did an intensive uh, study, and uh, I have to admit it was the hardest thing I have ever done in my life. This course was definitely the hardest thing I've ever done. That's why it took me, well, part of it was that I was on part-time because I wrote an entire novel while, while I was there. This book was written while I was in Florida. Um, but. Uh, there were so many, you know, like knowing this principle, the misunderstood word would cause you to go blank, um, not understand. You get kind of upset with the subject, kind of differentiate yourself from it, sort of maybe get a little critical of the subject, like, eh, who wants to learn that anyway? Um, it can cause a queasiness in your stomach, you know, that can be upsetting to the point where, in a nervous sort of hysteria, where you're just going to back off, <laughs> you know. So um, it's one of the most important things in study is to uh, be able to spot your misunderstood words, and they can be uh, misunderstood in all kinds of different ways. There can be, like I was saying, I have a large vocabulary, but I don't know the different definitions of every single word, and this was what was always throwing me off when I was studying. I'd go by a word, well, of course I know it! I know it. It just doesn't make sense. <laughs> and so I go to what they call a word clear, and we go over it, and it'd be a word, and I did know it, but I didn't know the definition that was being used. So that's one. Another one is you can just not know it. Another one is you can have, uh, think you know it, you've made up a definition. I forget, what was it my mother used to say to me, um, gosh, I can't remember, I can't remember what she used to say to me. Um, you know, one of those little sayings like, uh, 
for the life of me, I just can't, blah, blah, blah. And I was, for the life of me, for the life of me. What does that mean, for the life of me? You know? And I make up my own things, you know, well, life means, uh, okay, so she's going to die. If it, you know, what would it, you know, make up your own, because I just didn't get it, you know, I don't know. Um, there can be synonyms, homonyms, uh, different things like that. Now, why I'm saying this, you would think, we're writers. We're not going to use words that we don't understand, right? Duh. <laughs> How many times do I do this? I'm flipping through a word, and you know how you use a word all over and over and over and over and over. And so you go to your thesaurus and you get a word, you know, and okay, okay so oh, that's a good word. That, that that makes sense. And I don't bother to look it up and get all the different nuances of it. And lo and behold, it's it's a wrong definition, or it's not right, or something like that. Well, how can that hang you up? How could that possibly hang you up? Um, when you go past a misunderstood word, what happens? You start going blank. You start differentiating yourself. You can get upset with the subject, get a little critical of it. You can stop writing, blah, blah, blah. Um, it can actually hang you up. I don't use this one as much as the other, but I have found this to be the case. So what do you do in this case? The first thing you do is, again, you have to realize that You've hit a barrier of some kind. You've hit a block. Once you've done that, you need to go back. Go back to where you were doing well. In that area where you were doing well, there's going to be something there. It could be a misunderstood word. The first thing I do is I look at the words. But it could also be something else that we're going to cover in a minute. But the first thing you do is you go back. And you go back to where you were doing well, even if that's a chapter. I remember one book, it was my second book, and I was writing under deadline for the very first time in my life. This is uh, Lakota Princess. And um, I could not, I mean, I spent two to three months in writer's block. I could not advance that book. And I was on page 325. <laughs> and um, I had only a month left to get this book in. This is like deadline for me. And I could not make that book go forward. I couldn't, it would not go forward. The characters were standing there like this. <laughs> ah, good, go ahead. Don't mind us. <laughs> um, so I went back. I had to go back 200 pages and I'm under deadline. 200 pages, but there it was. There it was, and I forget now what I had, had I had missed. I think I had missed something in both the heroine and the hero's backgrounds so that when I got to where I was, it didn't gel, you know? I had missed their backgrounds. I hadn't, like, really made it plain enough why they got together, why they're apart, why they're together. Anyway, I fixed it. I came forward, and almost like magic, it just flowed on through. It was almost like magic. So the first thing you have to recognize, A, is that you have hit a barrier. And then, once you do that, go back to where you're doing well. Does that make sense? You yes. can tell where you were doing well, right? It was going well. You're writing 10 pages a day, everything. Oh, yeah, I love this book. Oh, yeah, 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 I love it. I love it. Oh, my goodness, I'm, I'm incredible. <laughs> go back to that point. Look at the very tail end of what you were doing and see if you can find a misunderstood word. That's the first thing I look for. The, the, I usually look at synonyms, maybe homonyms, different things like that, um, because I use a thesaurus almost constantly.